Thank you to Guardio for sponsoring this episode of SciShow Space. Guardio is a secure browser extension that keeps you and your information safe. You can get a seven-day free trial of Guardio by clicking on the link in the description and experience a secure digital world today. If you're like me, you can't wait to see what amazing image the James Webb Space Telescope is going to release next. They're downright gorgeous even though these nebulas and galaxies don't really look like that, at least to the human eye. Because they aren't photographs. They're constructs of data gathered from invisible bands of the electromagnetic spectrum. Some people might even say these images aren't real images at all. And now, scientists are doing something similar with sound. You may have even heard some space recordings yourself, like this. So that raises an important question. Are all these space sounds actually lies? The answer is kind of complicated. Unlike light, sound waves, also known as acoustic waves, need a medium to travel through. They're only transmitted when there are particles close enough together to get pushed along by their neighbor and then push their neighbor along. Most of space is practically empty, so you don't get sound waves traveling between planets. But wherever there is stuff, you can have sound. And that's why scientists have plopped a few microphones down on space rocks with atmospheres, like Mars and Saturn's moon Titan. In 2021, the Chinese Zhurong rover captured the sound of its own deployment onto the red planet. And NASA's Perseverance rover has picked up the sound of Martian wind, its wheels across the ground, and even the beat of the Ingenuity helicopter's blades. These are real extraterrestrial sounds. They just might sound a little strange to our ears because Mars's atmosphere has a lower density and temperature than Earth's does. But not every space sound is something that humans can perceive. Typically, we can only hear sound waves that have a frequency between 20 and 20,000 hertz. To visualize that, you can picture yourself bobbing around in the ocean, with a new wave peak washing over you between 20 and 20,000 times in a single second. Anything outside that range is still a sound wave, but it's not something we can detect and process with our fleshy anatomy. And there are plenty of these inaudible acoustic waves in space, typically in the form of pressure waves that wash over us much slower than 20 times a second. So if you want to hear them, we not only need an instrument that can detect them, we have to do some processing to shift them into audible frequencies. This is similar to the way astronomers present data from invisible parts of the electromagnetic spectrum, like the stunning images from Webb, and many other hard-working space telescopes with less street cred. In the sound realm, the InSight lander on Mars is equipped with seismometers that can pick up sound-like waves from Mars quakes and atmospheric disturbances. These are typically around 10 hertz, well below the range of human hearing. But by shifting the pitch up a couple of octaves, scientists can paint a pretty good picture of these events with sound alone. Like in September 2022, mission specialists reported that they detected the sound of a meteoroid striking the red planet planet, which sounded like this. The whoosh is the object entering the Martian atmosphere, and then the weird bloop is the sound of the meteorite hitting the ground. But this technique has also been used to help us listen in on even more deep and distant sounds. At the heart of the Perseus galaxy cluster, some 230 million light years away, there's a black hole accelerating the matter that swirls around it into jets. And these jets compress and expand the gas surrounding the galaxy, creating ripples. Back in 2003, astronomers figured out that these ripples were basically acoustic waves, albeit far, far below the range of human hearing. In fact, they represent the deepest sound in the known universe. In 2022, science communicators worked with NASA to reprocess the data. We now have the opportunity to hear the roar of this black hole pitched up an incredible 57 octaves. The eerie groan is created as our proverbial microphone moves around the black hole, because the sound waves aren't the same in every location. So if these space sounds are lies, then they're white lies. They merely extend the range of our normal perception. But there are other sounds that are downright deceitful. Take the surprisingly subtle chirp of colliding black holes. 
They're not acoustic waves at all. Instead, they're other kinds of waves, translated into sound to help us understand them better. Sometimes it's much easier for us to hear patterns than to pick up trends from dry data in a graph. The black hole merger chirps are a representation of ripples in the fabric of space-time itself. There are even new attempts to turn pictures into sound by using different musical instruments to represent the location and intensity of light in an image. For example, that's how we can hear Webb's image of the cosmic cliffs of the Carina Nebula. So, sure. Space sounds aren't always quite what they seem, and some of them may even seem more like art than science, but there are real benefits to painting a picture with sound. Not only are these representations helpful for non-visual learners and the visually impaired, they also offer scientists the opportunity to pick out patterns that the eyes might not see. Like in 2012, a scientist from the University of Michigan was listening to raw data recorded from our sun. He heard a distinctive hum, and the pitch of that hum suggested it was coming from the sun's surface as it rotated. Ultimately, that sound helped him and his colleagues figure out a new way to measure the sun's surface temperature. So sometimes it's worth bending the truth just a little to give us the best chance at understanding our universe. Thanks for watching this SciShow Space video. If you're watching SciShow, you're probably on the internet, and the internet is a great place. But along with bringing you awesome videos, being on the internet could make you vulnerable. Like we've all seen those phishing scams. 36% of all security breaches are a direct result of phishing attacks, and 3.4 billion phishing emails are sent daily. But Guardio can help. Guardio is a browser extension available on the Chrome or Edge store. When it's installed, a safety scan will detect any existing threats found on your computer and start monitoring for future ones. Guardio is a secure safeguard that provides real-time protection before these threats reach your browser by warning you about suspicious sites and blocking email scams or annoying push notifications. And it's quick to install. When you start using Guardio, it will even scan and clean your computer for existing issues. To browse safely and put your mind at ease, click the link in the description below for a seven-day free trial with premium features of Guardio and 20% off a monthly subscription. You can have up to five family members under one account. Thank you, Guardio, for supporting this SciShow Space video.